32, London 2027. It's breakfast time again in Gary Preston's lovely gleaming kitchen in Hampstead. Sally sits on the other side of the oak dining table. She's holding my hand. Preston looks pleased, but he's apologising through his smiles. I can't believe you did it. We wanted to reinforce you, but, but we couldn't get into Paris. The game locked it down. So we were on our own, Sally says. Preston sighs. It's not what I wanted. I wanted to help you. It's just, you said it already. I smile. I don't care. I'm just glad I'm alive. What happened was this. As soon as I felt I could leave the game without the world, both inside and outside, going into meltdown, I logged off. Sally and I picked our way out of the hospital ruins and found a hut in the Bois de Boulogne, which we locked from the inside. Shub Niggerath was gone. The pulsing heart stopped. There were some goat hybrids, but we killed them. So it's over, I ask. Have you noticed the itching in your head? Instinctively, I put my hand to my head and I'm pleased to find hair, but no itching. We can give you a scan just to be sure, but everyone we've tested has shown remission in the tumour growth. So with Shub Niggerath's death, I say, the old gods never die, Preston said. She's retreated somewhere. The detonator blew her out of 1927 Paris. The detonator given to us by Nyarlathotep. Preston nods, probably. I bet all Shub Niggerath's minions think we did it. Preston sucks his teeth. He sits there all clean and pressed, very preppy, but he's frowning. We have a report from the Starry Wisdom that you're on their kill list. I'm not sure I care much about that. I say the Starry Wisdom tried to kill me a couple of times already. But that was unofficial, Preston says. Unofficial? So I'm now official kill meat instead of just opportunistic kill meat. Enoch Bowen says he wants you dead. Enoch Bowen is? Sally asks. Preston turns to her. Did you ever read The Haunter of the Dark? She grins. Lovecraft. He never was my thing. He just used big words for the sake of it. Couldn't get into him. I say Enoch Bowen was an occultist and archaeologist. He founded the Church of the Starry Wisdom in Providence, Rhode Island in 1844. They used a thing called a shining trapezohedron to summon the haunter, who was a version of our friend Nealathotep. Preston studies me with admiration. You know your mythos, Adam. Sally looks puzzled. So the Church of the Starry Wisdom is a cult dedicated to the worship of Nealathotep. But in our story, it was serving Shub Niggerath and Nealathotep just helped us kill her. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense, she says. Wheels within wheels, Preston says. Who knows what they're up to, or whose side anyone's on. Except now the Church of the Starry Wisdom think we're on the Alathotep's side. Apparently, Preston says. How do you know this? I ask. We've got a source inside the Church of the Starry Wisdom. A spy? Preston looks embarrassed. I prefer the word source. It's less melodramatic. Sally says, sipping coffee. Why didn't Nyarlathotep just detonate her himself? Who knows, Preston says. Who knows indeed, I say. What about Paris now? It was a hell of a mess when we left, Sally says. Preston says, Dark World is offline, the servers are down. It seems they're doing a reboot of the system. I guess when it comes back it will be as if Shub Niggerath never invaded Paris 1927. All will be sweetness and light again. If the game comes back online, I say. Preston smiles coldly at me. It will. They haven't given up, believe me. But we can relax a bit now, I say. Sally squeezes my hand tighter. This is kind of nice. I'll be your girlfriend in the game if you like, she says. Just in the game, not in real life. One step at a time, Adam, she grins. Preston says, by the way, I need someone to go to Providence. Rhode Island, America, yeah, stuff going down there. He stares straight at me. I was thinking of you. How are we going to get there, I say. Transatlantic liner, the Queen Mary from Portsmouth. Can we have a suite? Sally asks. Yeah, we can stretch to that. The journey itself should be uneventful. Just use the time to recuperate. That was Dark World's Paris. Written by Tony Walker and narrated by Tony Walker.